Hey folks, welcome to Mr. P's Film Review. If you just tuned into this channel on YouTube, feel free to hit that subscribe button, hit the alarm bell so you can get regular notifications from me of new film and DVD reviews. This month marks 25 years since one of the greatest films, not only of the 90s, but one of the greatest films ever was released. And I feel privileged enough to review it on my channel. Shawshank Redemption. Shawshank Redemption was released in 1994, was written and directed by Frank Darabont, <clears throat> and it stars Tim Robbins, Morgan Freeman, Bob Gunton, and Clancy Brown, who all give career best performances. Shawshank Redemption tells the story of Andy DeFriends, a banker who's played by Tim Robbins, who is jailed for the murder of his wife and her lover, and is sentenced to two life prison sentences in Shawshank Prison. And it's in this prison that he befriends Red, brilliantly played by Morgan Freeman, who's a fellow convict. And the two build up a relationship together. That starts off as Morgan Freeman's character acting as a mentor, who then acts as a father figure, and then the two subsequently become friends. Now, here's a bit of trivia for you. Shawshank Redemption was originally a box office disappointment upon its initial release, purely because it was up against such strong competition from films such as Pulp Fiction, Forrest Gump. This film, Shawshank Redemption, was nominated for six Academy Awards, didn't win anything, but through a re-release of the film, through word of mouth, it started to gain new life on video cassette. It became gross over $58 million worldwide at the box office and earned a prestigious title of being one of the greatest films ever made. And it's a title that is well-deserved. And I love Shawshank Redemption. I remember when I first saw this film, it was just so powerful. And it is still as powerful then as it is now. This film hasn't lost any of its potency. What I love most, performances. As I said in the beginning, Morgan Freeman, Tim Robbins, give career best performances. And it's a shame that they were overlooked for Academy Awards because they were those performances were Oscar worthy. Tim Robbins, I know him for such comedy, comedic roles such as Bull Durham, The Player, but in this film, he gives such a vulnerable, calm as Andy the Friends. <clears throat> and just the relationship between him and Morgan Freeman is just so beautifully rich and so engaging and it works well on the camera. And believe it or not, Harrison Ford and Tom Cruise, the roles for these two characters were originally written for them. And I can't imagine any two actors playing this type of role because Morgan Freeman and Tim Robbins gave this film justice. And Morgan Freeman was Oscar nominated for a Best Actor Oscar and he should have won. His role as Red was just magnificent. It was so respectful, so dignified, and he acts as a narrator as well. And that unmistakable voice just adds another beautiful layer to the film that is Shawshank Redemption. Also, the supporting character, Bob Norton and Clancy Brown, who play Warden Norton and Captain Headley, the brutal guard who just brutalizes everybody in the prison. These two lend fine support to the film. And as much as I can give credit to the actors, I can't take anything, I have to give credit to the director because it's sad that actors um, overshadow the director and Frank Darabont wrote and directed a beautiful masterpiece in Shawshank Redemption. And my hat's off to him. This film has got such memorable lines. Hope can set you free. Get busy living or get busy dying. I believe in two things, discipline and the Bible, and you will learn both when And one of my favorites, put your trust in the Lord, your ass belongs to me. Just such quotable lines. And these films are on the list of AFI's, American Film Institute, most quotable lines of all time. Shawshank Redemption is 2 hours and 22 minutes. Now, when a film is that long, there is a risk that the plot can drag, that characters can be added into the film that don't add to the narrative, or it can just go in a direction where it takes away from the narrative and can go in a different direction that is totally unnecessary. Everything within Shawshank Redemption makes up the masterpiece that it is. <clears throat> and it just adds little pieces of the puzzle to what the story is trying to tell you. So when Morgan Freeman's friend Brooke and gets released from prison after serving 50 years and subsequently kills himself by 
hanging himself, he then, Morgan Freeman talks about being institutionalized. And that brings up the topic about being hopeful, about being uh, free and not um, giving up, which is one of the traits that Tim Robbins' character carries throughout the film. There's another character in this film, Tommy Williams. And when you see him, you wonder, okay, why is this character here? Andy helps him to get his GED. And you wonder what the significance of this character is. But then you realise that Tommy was in another prison and he shared a cellmate with a person who admitted to the crime that Andy was convicted of. And when Tommy tries to give this information to the warden, he is then shot dead. And there are no dull moments within Shawshank Redemption. The musical score by Thomas Newman is superb. Absolutely gorgeous from the utilization of the chords to the string quartet. It is just a very moody score. And I think that the way that it can be described is the same way that it can describe Shawshank Redemption. Hopeful, empowering, it can be moody at parts and it also can be quite strengthening. But it's a shame that this man didn't get nominated for an Oscar as well. And again, like I said, 25 years on, this film hasn't lost any of its potency. It is still as powerful then as it is now. It is still as impactful then as it is now. And I still leave, when I finish watching the film, I still feel satisfied at the ending, at the performances. And whilst this film didn't win any awards, it won the hearts of millions. And, you know, we can get into another debate about whether Academy Awards justify whether a film would be great. But that's another situation. That's another story. What I love most about Shawshank is the fact that whilst it didn't win any awards, it has topped every respective film that you can possibly imagine. American Film Institute's list of greatest films ever made. Writers Guild of America was ranked number four out of the top 100 best screenplays of all time. Empire Magazine ranked Shawshank Redemption number four out of the best 500 films ever. Internet Movie Database ranks this film 9.3 out of 10 on its charts and since 2008 has topped Shawshank Redemption as being number one out of its top 250 greatest films of all time. Nelson Mandela loved this film. Stephen King, who wrote the book that Shawshank is based upon, said that if this is not the best adaptation of his work ever, he is up there with the top three. Now that, that is an honour in itself. But Shawshank Redemption... I loved it then. I still love it now. It is still as relevant today as it was then. Happy 25th birthday to you. And I will give Shawshank Redemption 10 out of 10. So, that's my retro review of Shawshank Redemption. As I said in the beginning, subscribe to this channel for more content. And there will be more content. Leave your comment with what is your favourite Stephen King novel. What is your favourite film that has been based on a Stephen King novel. My two are Shawshank Redemption Stand By Me. Leave your comments and I shall see you on the next film review. Take care.